Stoke-on-Trent is one of the biggest cities in England. It is the only city that is made up of six towns. It is the backbone of England. I was thinking what films would be great to be shot here. In this documentary, we will have interviews and opinions to discover more about filming in Stoke. I'm going to find someone to interview at this glorious, orgasmic, marvellous, exquisite park, which is Hamley Forest Park. Ah, there seems to be someone here that wants to be interviewed. What do you know? Philip, thank you for being interviewed. No, you're being interviewed. So what brings you to film on Hamley Forest Park? Well, I think it'd be great to film in many other different categories of film, such as sci-fi, war, and also survival. Is that the only reason? No, it's also open to the public, and it's very easy to get access to. And also, it's got some great scenery. Well, you did mention closing it off a little bit. Well, there are very good ideas and reasons there. Thank you for being interviewed. Never happened like that before. Well, that concludes our visit to Hanley Forest Park. Hello, good sir. Would you like to be interviewed? What's wrong with this place? No. Well, goodbye. Whoa, where did he go? We are here right now at Clyde Potter Museum, which has a very rich heritage of Stoke on Trent. People of Stoke on Trent have taken it in to their hearts. This is one of the most famous and filmed places in Stoke. Oh, I didn't see you there. Some people say the Clyde Potter Museum is haunted, which would be great to film a scary horror film. Or maybe even you just like to film a period film. Or maybe you just like to blow it up. We caught up with Jeff Davies, a visitor from Bristol who has kindly agreed to be interviewed. What brings you to Gladstone Potter Museum? Uh, I'm just uh, in the area, so uh, I always wanted to come to one of these uh, tourist things. Take the chance. When people say Stoke on Trent, do you automatically associate Gladstone Potter Museum with Stoke on Trent? Yeah, definitely the Potter is, yeah. It's a convenient change of really, kind of still the Potter is. What are your thoughts of Gladstone Potter Museum? Well, this museum, yeah. I think it's great, I think it's brilliant. It's really, really good. It sort of, um, gives you a good feel of what the place must have been like, and the people, the conditions of people in there must have worked. I think that's the biggest thing it comes across, the conditions that people will work with. So then, Jeff, you definitely think we should reserve Gods and the Potter Museum as it is? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's a shame it's the only one left, really, isn't it? We thank you, Jeff Davies. Here are some interesting objects that were used in the 18th to mid 20th century. And since then, Gladstone has arguably been the biggest destination in Stoke. I would like to prove that Gladstone Potter Museum is not haunted. Oh, here are three handsome boys. Oh, 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 it's haunted! <laughs> well, I'm going out of here.